Uh, okay, I'll give you five dollars if you'll stop that. Oh, am I really that bad? No, no, no it's, it's not you. It's well, you know, it, it's you a little, but mostly I just hate music, and the humming makes it that much harder to ignore. You know? Okay, so let me get this straight. If um, humming is worth five bucks, what do I get if I actually sing the lyrics? Well, how about dinner? <laughs> well, I must be really horrible. <laughs> well, no, I just figure you can't sing if you got food in your mouth. <laughs> Who's that favorite? Uh, Susan Keen. Look, uh, if you want to reference I'm on my way up to my dentist, Dr. Salinger on 11, you can vouch for my character and, and my gums. Well, I'd prefer if four out of five dentists recommended you, but um, <laughs> Salinger is good. Okay. Great, great. <laughs> great. <laughs> with the record producer? You know? Well, he's only the biggest producer of alternative music in the Bay Area. Suze, do you know what this means? Yeah, my dry spell is over. <laughs> and so is mine. You can give him my tape. Your tape? My demo tape. Todd Stites, A Decade of Brilliance. Ah, uh, Todd, I, I don't know. I, I, I know that this is a lot to ask, but I've been trying to get my tape to Zach Hayward for over a year, and, and I can't get near him. Well, Todd, I have only known the guy six floors. Come on, Suze. This is my chance to finally be a musician and not just a critic. I don't want to sit at this desk trashing bands the rest of my life. I want some other bitter one to be trashing me. Please. Thank you. Win women the Tony Robbins way? It's the wrong tape. <clears throat> Police, do you realize that we work together, we live in the same building, and we never get a chance to just hang out? You know, just say, hey, neighbor, how's it going? What do you want, Vicky? Illegal cable, can you do it? No. Can you talk me through it? No. All right, can you at least hook up my stereo to my TV? I want to hear Moesha the way it was meant to be heard. If you look, I, I'm really sorry, but I, I made plans tonight. Oh, well, that's okay. It's only fitting for a grieving widow to hear things in mono. After all, mono does mean one. And I am alone. So very alone. Now that Ben, my beloved husband... All right, all right, I'll be there. Oh, great. Seven o'clock. And could you bring a plunger? One of my toilets is clogged. Uh, Maddie, I have the, the proofs that, that uh, you wanted to see. Right, the proofs I wanted to see. So, um, my place tonight, eight o'clock? Yeah. Look, uh, about that, uh, I'm going to be tied up for a little while. Mm-hmm. Maybe, if you're lucky. I'll be there as soon as I can. And, uh, don't start without me. Oops, too late. So, uh, if there's nothing else, I really should... Oh, Louise, you've done so much already. At least stay for dinner. Oh, that's really sweet of you, but uh, no, really, I should get going, so... What's the hurry, big date? Date? <laughs> oh my god, this guy? <laughs> oh god, no, don't I wish. No, no, just some, some uh, light housekeeping. Oh, come on, you can do that anytime. Can't you just stay? I've had so many meals alone lately, I could really use the company. Uh-huh. Well, uh, yeah, I guess I have time for a quick bite. Huh? Great! <laughs> what can you make? So I'm standing in the wings as the band comes off stage. 60,000 fans are screaming for an encore as Izzy throws up on my shoes and passes out. Oh my God, what did you do? What could I do? I picked up his guitar and his shades, ran on stage at a couple of windmills and dove into the first three rows. <laughs> you stage dived? Well, actually, I, I slipped and fell. But the crowd reaction was so big, it became his signature move. Well, everybody's got to have one of those. I personally am known for my reckless use of semicolons. <laughs> well, I like a woman that lives on the edge. <laughs> Oh, uh, listen, Zach, um, there's this guy that I work with, and, well... Mr. Hayward, uh, instead of a tip, 
I was hoping you listen to my demo tape. I do this uh, techno country hip hop thing. It's totally happening. And you know what? Uh, that sounds like a combo that's really hard to pass up, but uh, it's been really the time. So I tell you what, why don't you just send it to my office? Okay? Excellent. You're the man. Uh -huh. God, I hate it when people do that. <laughs> Everywhere I go, somebody is trying to push a tape onto me. It drives me nuts. Well, yeah, how rude is that? <laughs> We're saying about this guy at work. No, the, yeah, the guy at work, yes. He's, uh, he's, he is wild about apostrophes. <laughs> we call him apostrophe guy. What? <laughs> I'm uh, really sorry I didn't show up last night, but when you hear why I couldn't make well, it... Well, Luis, it's not like we're in a relationship. You don't owe me an explanation. I spent the night with Vicky. Okay, now I want an explanation. <laughs> and remember, I'm a recovering alcoholic, so choose your words carefully. I didn't sleep with her. Good start. She just needed a friend, and dinner, and dessert, and some laundry, and a little ironing. <laughs> and then while we're watching TV, she just she fell asleep on my shoulder. And you didn't call because... Well, I fell asleep, too. I was exhausted from all the chores. <laughs> but look, uh, I promise I'll make it up to you tonight in ways that you just can't imagine. <laughs> well, I don't know. I've got a pretty active imagination. Maddie Lewis. Hey. What? Good morning. Right, Likewise. Got you, Jack. Good morning, Suze. I want to hear all about your date. Starting with when you gave him my tape and ending with how much he loved it. I didn't give it to him. <laughs> That's a good one. Seriously, when do I sign the contracts? No. I mean it, Todd. I didn't give it to him. I was about to, but then he started talking about how everybody's always pushing their tapes on him. I just didn't feel comfortable doing it. I'm sorry. Well, uh, okay. Yeah, all right. So you're not upset? No, no, no. You, you couldn't do it? Didn't feel right? I, I completely understand. Okay, well, thanks for being so cool about it. Yeah, no problem. Hey, I'm gonna get some coffee. You want a cup of tea? Yeah, thanks. Well, that's weird. I know I said I'd get you some tea, but all of a sudden I don't feel comfortable doing it. Come on, Todd, I said I was sorry. Yes, and you also said you'd give him the tape, but that didn't turn out to be true either, did it? Give me the tape. I will make sure he hears it. Lady, you are some kind of wonderful. And you're not just getting tea. You're getting a muffin, too. Oh, Luis, I wanted to say thank you for last night. You were so amazing. Ah. It's just what I needed. Ah, it's my pleasure, yeah. Oh, uh, what time did you get up? Oh, gosh, not till 8.30. I didn't even hear you leave. Ah. Well, I didn't want to wake you, and I was pretty spent myself. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry I just fell asleep on top of you like that. Uh, Luis, can I see you in my office? Yeah, sure. Good God, man! I know I'm not the best guy to be talking about office romances, but do you think this is a good idea? How'd you find out? You're not exactly doing a good job of hiding it. Okay, look, it, it just happened, okay? Well, it shouldn't have happened. She is very vulnerable right now. I can't believe you're taking advantage of her like this. Oh, well, well, I prefer to think of it as helping her through a difficult period. <laughs> you know? And, and in all fairness, I've been waiting a long time for this. <laughs> you have? I don't even know you anymore. <laughs> oh, come on. Like, like you never thought of her in that way. <laughs> Get out! <laughs> you're just jealous. Oh! <laughs> Okay, why don't you um, make yourself comfortable and I'll put some music on. Okay, great. Uh, no humming, right? You either. <laughs> I have no idea what's in here, so I will just uh, turn it on and hope we get lucky. I sleep through my dreams. Oh, woo, jackpot. <laughs> I love this song. Trying to see, maybe she, maybe she was. Zach? Why don't you come on inside? It's freezing out there. It's uh, quite a view you got out there. That moon is huge. You can see the moon through the fog? No, I'm talking about the guy flashing me from across the street. <laughs> Jeffrey, get your own dates! 
I kind of like being fought over. <laughs> well, don't flatter yourself, because Jeffrey is not as discriminating as he seems. He wouldn't have won anyway. Uh, how about that music? Yeah. I have no idea what is in here, so I'll just turn it on and hope we get lucky. Woo! Jackpot! I love this song. I love these old Victorians. Yeah, they have great acoustics, don't they? Yeah. Oh, you're kidding me. Come on. Susan, please. Oh, you wanted it turned lower. Oh, I, I'm so sorry. Oh, man. All right, half an hour. Susan, I am so sorry, but I'm afraid I gotta go. Right now? There's a crisis down at the recording studio. Oh, okay. I'll call you. Okay. Don't you just love this music, huh? Come on. <laughs> Crap down! Pull your pants up! Good morning, Suze. Morning. Hey, what's all this then? Why, it's a balloon bouquet for you. Oh, great. So, how'd it go? Well, I can honestly say that I played him the tape. I just can't honestly say he heard it. I can't believe it. You did it to me again! Come on, it wasn't my fault. He had to leave early. And I gotta tell you, Todd, you're really putting me in an awkward position. Oh, well, I'm sorry if our five years of friendship is putting you in an awkward position with the guy you've known a total of four hours. What is the rush? Let me get to know him a little bit better in a week or so. Oh, a week or so. Well, well, given your history with men, you'll be broken up by then, so then where am I? Right here, sitting on your selfish ass. <laughs> well, excuse me for having a dream and for thinking we were the kind of friends who put ourselves on the line for each other. I won't make that mistake again. Mandy, what, what are you doing here? Well, my favorite kickboxing teacher changed his class to 6 a.m., and your place is closer to the gym. Well, so, so you want to spend the night here? In, in my apartment? For the first time ever? Not unless you actually let me in. <laughs> oh, of course, yeah, please come in. Oh, my God, this is fantastic. Okay, uh, look, sit down and relax. I'll be back as soon as I can, all right? Wait, 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 you're leaving? Yeah, I just had to run up and cook a quick dinner for Vicky. Please, if tonight's not good, I'll No, 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 go no. tonight's is good, it's fantastic. Okay, just, look, don't go anywhere. I'll, I'll be back in, in 30 minutes, all right? I'll just hold on to this uh, whipped cream till later. 20 minutes. <laughs> you know, it's not well known, but uh, after the success of Cherry Garcia, Donnie and Marie actually started pushing for Jamolka Osmond Fudge. Yeah. Okay. Did you believe Toasted Osmond? <laughs> Hello, is this thing on? I'm so sorry. Oh, I've just been a bit distracted. You know, I had a bad day at work. Really? You want to talk about it? I sleep through my dreams. <laughs> What's the matter? Uh, uh, Maybe. The, I, the, I asked for a waffle cone and they gave me a sugar cone. Yes. Yeah, let's go back. <laughs> okay. The potatoes are done, the salad's tossed. When the timer goes off, just base the Cornish game hand, put it back in for half an hour. Have a nice night. Where are you going? I'm expecting an important call from my mother. You cannot just leave in the middle of preparing a meal. Okay, what if something explodes? Vicky, it's a Cornish game hen, not the stick of dynamite. Well, I'm sorry, but I'm not good in the kitchen, okay? I once stuffed a turkey, and when I opened the oven, it spit an orange out at me. Citrus stinks! All right, it was horrible! Please, dear God, do not make me base! Just get a hold of yourself, woman! Look, my Aunt Fatima gave birth on Christmas Day, and she never stopped basting until the final push. You can do this. Here. But what are these? Uh, appetizers. Enjoy. <laughs> Did you see that guy? I don't think so. Try to drink. It's not the same. Oh, look, a side street. Oh, it's like, kind of, want a race? Turn, turn. Yeah. Oh, right there. This is heaven. Yeah. Uh, anything else that I can do for you? 
Mm, not in this room. Oh. No. <laughs> 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 Somebody's been working out. <laughs> I think I'll walk. <laughs> oh, this is very nice. Mm, yes, I'm enjoying the peace and quiet. And you. Oh, oh for God's sake. It's okay, it's okay. Look, look. Here. I don't want 20 bucks. Hey, all right. Now, do you mind? What is wrong with you? You're not getting any more money. It's not about the money, although I do appreciate the 20. I just want you to listen. It may be dangerous. Walk away slowly, okay? He's not dangerous. He's crazy. But he's not dangerous. Todd, how could you do this? Todd? What was I supposed to do? Sit on my selfish ass? I mean, you weren't helping me. Well, it's not like I didn't try. But it's just that I like this guy. I don't want to mess it up. I didn't want to do that either, but Excuse I, me, could we go back to what you were saying about me? Oh, Zach, I'm really sorry. But the truth is, he's a friend of mine. He's an annoying friend, but a good one. And I promised him that I would get you to listen to his song. Oh, gee, no, not you too. Yeah, me too. But, but look, for the record, when we met, I, I had no idea that you did what you do. Uh, sir, for, for the record, uh, I did. Look, I know that this is a horrible imposition, but it's really important to him, and that makes it important to me. And if asking you to listen to it means that you don't want to see me anymore, I understand. In that case, let it rip, pal. Wait a minute, I'm, I'm confused. Does that mean you do want to see me again, or no? It depends how bad he is. Go ahead, Ace. Uh, a minute, Suze, what you just did, that was incredible. I mean, I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything, just sing. Uh, in another minute? Okay. I don't deserve you. I mean, the way I, I acted, uh, the things I said to you, uh, the virus I put on your computer. Come on, time with friends. You did what? Uh, not to worry. I'm pretty sure that I backed everything up, so. <laughs> anyway, thanks. The song came to me on a rainy night back in 98. Todd, sing the song. Sure. I sleep in my dreams, night after night. Oh, that was incredible. Yeah, so are you. <laughs> now, the only real question is, how, how do we top that? There's only one way to find out. Oh, how was your hen? Not as juicy as yours. <laughs> Excuse me. Everyone, I have an announcement. Luis and Maddie are sleeping together. Vicky? Oh, great. You're sleeping with Maddie? He's sleeping with Maddie and Vicky? What? I I'm not sleeping with Vicky. Oh, not that he hasn't tried. What? Come on, I'm in mourning. You gotta give me something. Hey, what's going on? Oh, nothing, except that Luis and Maddie are sleeping together. And I was the first to know. Oh, shut up. Todd knew about it three weeks ago. <laughs> and you didn't tell me. I repressed it. Well, nobody tells me anything. Oh, don't feel bad. They tell me. I still don't understand. 
I thought you knew I was sleeping with Maddie. No, I thought you were sleeping with Vicky, but everything I said about sleeping with a widow goes for sleeping with an alcoholic. You're taking advantage of a vulnerable person. Hey, I am not vulnerable. Exactly. She's using him as a replacement for alcohol. Oh, wait, not just a minute. No, That's... no, it's true. She's just being selfish. She's trying to take my cook away from me. She doesn't care about him. Excuse me. How do you know who I care about or don't care about? Well, do you care about him? Maybe. You do? Yes. A little. <laughs> she likes me. Not easy, big boy. You like me. I've got work to do. You like me. You like me. She likes me. Oh, great. There goes my cook. You know, I, I really have got to start paying more attention around here. You know, they did it right here in the office. Please don't tell me they used my chair for leverage. No, you're clean. Can we change the subject? It's a good idea. Okay. Hey, Suze, you know, I want to thank you again for what you did last night. Oh, sure, Todd. I'm just sorry that Zach didn't want to sign you. Well, that's okay. You know, he called this morning to give me the name of a company he thinks my music's going to be perfect for. Huh? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. It sounds nice, uh-huh. Suze, please, you're ruining it. Chad, we're here. Yeah, you go ahead. I'm, I'm gonna ride this song out. starting to rock out there. Todd, you want to entertain people, not frighten them. <laughs> Three, four. Uh -huh. Todd. Three, four. Uh -huh.